Welcome back, Deep Ear View TV viewers, or should I say, D Preview TV viewers, because we have a preview today for you. We have the brand new pre production Nikkor Z 600mm F4 TC VRS. This is definitely a professional wildlife super telephoto lens. So we're out in the park today just, you know, getting the animal shots for you. So being a pre-production lens, we're not gonna have a full sample gallery, but we are still gonna have photos that we can shoot for our video here today. And honestly, I think there's still gonna be a lot that we can test that you will find useful. So stick around, let's get to what this lens can do. So let's take a look at the overall design. Now, first off, you know, looking from the side, very impressive, right? I mean, this is a, flagship, powerhouse, beast, game changer of a lens. But more importantly than that, it's 437 millimeters long without the lens hood on it. Uh, actually quite lightweight considering it's a 600 millimeter F4. It's 3,260 grams. That is just over a knocked and a half. And yet look how much bigger this lens would be than one and a half knocked lenses, you know, stuck side by side. I mean, you're really, you're, you're getting your money's worth here. So there's a lot of stuff there on the left side, all that text, let's make that disappear. There's the lovely soft case that you get with it. Not a hard case, but that's been pretty standard now for a lot of their long telephotos. And the soft case is very easy to travel with and still protects things just fine. Now here we've got our standard function buttons on the front, of course, go all the way around. We do have the function ring and a custom ring all fully customizable, of course. Manual focus. We've got our standard uh, focus limiter here on the side as well as autofocus, manual focus, and another customizable function button there. 46 millimeter drop-in filters. Now on this collar, yes, it does have 90 degree detente. I do like uh, that it gives you the indicator, but it does not click just like the other lenses. I don't know why they don't have the click in there. And no, before you yell at the screen, the tripod collar is not cut for Arca Swiss dovetail. Oh, anyways. Now on top here, we've got two strips of gaffer tape. That's not a feature of the lens. That's to cover up all the details to keep the lens super secret from all the prying wildlife photographers with their big lenses out here. Memory set button, but here's the real thing that we're excited about. Built-in 1.4 times teleconverter, optimized for this lens, of course. Find that they're better optically than using an additional teleconverter. And this will give you an 840 millimeter f5.6 lens, but you can still put other teleconverters on with that. It will still autofocus. Two times converter on there with the one point four times you've got what 1680 millimeter f11 then you're into beast mode powerhouse you know game changing territory so uh yeah pretty full featured lens Okay, so let's talk about bokeh on this 600 millimeter F4. Now, first off, because it is such a long telephoto range with a fairly wide aperture, shallow depth of field is absolutely a thing. And we're shooting in a lot of these busy branches. You've know, got lots of stuff in the foreground and background. We've got shafts of light lighting up yellow leaves, and it's really nice. I mean, you can get some really beautiful backgrounds, but it also can be really busy looking. And luckily on this lens, first off, I'm finding that we're getting really nice separation from what is in focus to what is out of focus. And even where we do have lots of leaves and branches, I'm finding the transition to be quite smooth looking. Also an opportunity to shoot some specular highlights in the background with these ducks. We got water splashing over and the sun's hitting it. And we're seeing what we also saw a lot on the 400 millimeter f4.5 and 800 millimeter 6.3 from Nikkor. And that is that you are getting these uh, cat's eye effects when you're shooting wide open and they're quite prevalent even towards the center of the frame. It does actually give you a very dynamic sort of swirly look and sort of a tunnel look and that can be cool. And if you don't like it, you can stop down. Like anything with bokeh, it is subjective but overall I'm finding this quite pleasing on this lens. So of course a lens like the 600mm f4 is great for sports and wildlife but also for like outdoor venues and concerts and just for example here I mean you might be too young to recognize it but out there Right out there is actually the 80s band, Flock of Seagulls, one of my favorites. I grew up with them. You guys might be too young, depends, but this lens does a great job getting 80s bands that are back from retirement just like that. Now the Nikkor 600mm has a powerful VR system built into it. Five stops of image stabilization in the lens. Now you can get a slight improvement if you use it with the Nikon Z9, then it takes advantage of their Synchro VR you know, the lens and the IBIS in conjunction, you get five and a half stops. So the 600 millimeter F4 uses Nikkor's latest motor technology. This has their SSVCM, their silky swift voice coil motor. And it is certainly silky. It is certainly swift. The voice is very coily, but it is totally silent, just so you know. I'm finding it actually very well suited for this lens. I mean, especially if I'm shooting birds, it, you know, sort of multiple distances, but in the same area, I'm finding it's going very fast between branches. So I'm liking that. If I'm focusing from minimum focusing distance to infinity, it snaps very smoothly. So yeah, I would say it is absolutely well suited for wildlife sports, you know, uh, flock of seagulls shooting, whatever you need to do. 
So we expected a professional lens like this to be well corrected for things like chromatic aberration, dealing with flare, and it certainly does not disappoint. Minimal flare, you can see a little bit of light ghosting, but it's almost non-existent. Handles chromatic aberration very well. Shooting is something difficult, like right towards the sun, this lens still does an excellent job. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that little first look at the 600mm f4. Oh, is the lens sharp? Yes, I know we can't test it, but trust me. I've seen the photos, shot the photos, they're sharp. Even with the catalog, when, when is a professional wildlife lens not really even sharp? I mean, come on, that's not really the issue. The main benefits here really are that we have a beautifully made lens. It focuses quickly and silently. Uh, it has beautiful, in my opinion, bokeh. I actually really like the bokeh that I was getting out of it. And remember, this is a dedicated mirrorless lens that makes it smaller and lighter. I mean, imagine this compared to something like the F-mount full-frame SLR version with a teleconverter. I mean, this saves us tons of weight, size, and length. And, you know, going around today shooting a lot of birds, I don't want to use a monopod. I need to be able to point things quickly up in the trees. And so I was doing this handheld for a lot of today, and it's very doable. So overall, I think we've got a fantastic lens here for wildlife and sports. Now, of course, this is a professional lens in every sense of the word, including the price point, $15,999 USD. Of course, that means that this is going to be a lens you're going to have to really decide, is this right for the kind of work you do? But if it is, I think you will be very happy with it. You know, a great way to not think about the price point on this lens is to click that subscribe and notification button. That'll take your mind right away from it. Otherwise, please do leave your comments below, like the video, we'd appreciate that. And we will see you guys soon for another episode of Deep Review TV. Look at this lens. <laughs>